Okay. As you can see, there's no handle there. Broke off all the way up in there. And this is a 2003 Nissan Frontier XE. And uh, cold day last week. Went outside to get into the back of my truck and that baby snapped right off. So I called the dealership and they wanted $130 just for the part. And I thought that was a little bit exorbitant. So I started looking around and on Amazon I found this made in Taiwan piece. And as you can see, this one has the handle and all the parts. So I'm going to go about attempting to open this so I can get the uh, part back on. Now the videos I've seen online show a small problem. When the door is shut like this, you can't get to. There's two places right in here where this is attached. This black uh, tailgate cover and that means that it's difficult to get to the area where these let's see if I can cover that up where these screws are so right behind these screws there's a panel that falls off and once that panel falls off there's two rods one goes this way one goes that way so that way and that way. And when those rods are pulled, it'll allow the tailgate to fall. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do is I'm gonna to try to get those screws out and then I'm gonna to try to somehow get to this area back here and see if that's possible. You seen this? Yeah. Okay, so after looking at this mechanism, I noticed that the handle just pushes down on this metal piece here. If you see here, it moves down. And basically, it's, it's pushing down these two pieces which unlock the rod. So I thought, all right, let me get up in this thing here and see if I can open it. And I did. That saved me from having to break the black plastic cover on the back of the tailgate. What they recommend you do is break off this piece right here. Well, I didn't want to do that. So all you have to do is put your screwdriver up inside where the handle goes and lift, push down on the latch. Okay, now that I've saved these plastic pieces, I can just get in here behind this little plastic hold. Work that out. Okay, the uh, screwdriver wasn't working quite well, so I just got out my multi tool and that seems to be pretty, pretty good. So the multi-tool seemed to work best. Now I'll be able to lift this off. Okay, once you have the back of the tailgate open, you'll be able to see a little pin here on this rod. Undo that clip. One. Up inside there. And I'm going to release that one too. Okay, the next thing you want to do is remove these two bolts. There's one here on this side. And one on this side. Now that I have the two screws out, I should just be able to give that a big yank and pull it off. And there you go. They say these will come loose. These are broken now, so I got to take these out. Okay, I didn't want to bar bore you with the removal of each one of these pins, but when they come out, that's what they look like. And actually, the one in the center was broken off of the plastic, which is why they recommend you get the whole plastic piece for the back instead of just the handle. But I just used, as I did on the other one, just use this. I put it in behind the pin and kind of wedged it out. That's how you get those out. Here's the original one removed and I need to take the locking mechanism right there off 
and it will come over here and go in that place right there. Take a good look at how that's assembled because once it's off you may not remember. I took a picture of it and of course I'm taking video right now so I'll have a reference to look back at. Okay, just remove this screw. And it should just lift right out. And there you go. Just bring it over here. Put it on top of that piece. Slip it back in where it belongs. And replace the screw. All right, that part was so easy I could do it one-handed. There it is, locks back in place on the back shield. All right, just line up all these pins. And then you're just gonna bang it on. So now I gotta reach inside and grab the rods. Okay, so this rod goes in this hole and snap the clasp on. No, let me take that back. This rod goes in this hole back up in here. Then this gets clasped on, which you can't see, but it's basically identical to this, just up in this hole here. Now this rod is going in this hole. And this clasp goes back around. And you're all set. Functions like it should. Okay, after connecting the rods, then just put these nuts back on. Hold the handle in place. Technically, you could have probably done this before you put the rods back on. Okay. Okay, it might be helpful to just tap them in with a little mallet or a small sledgehammer. And start these. Another little tip I found is if you push in on the tailgate and then pull the handle, push in, pull, that's going to, see how that tugs, push in and then pull, that's going to give you a lot more lifespan on your new handle. And that's true with the old handle as well. Okay, the last thing that needs to be done to get that factory look is to replace this piece. And they don't ship that with the uh, replacement, so 
I'm going to have to take this one off and reattach it to the new piece. I see there's a couple of metal pieces here that I think I can push on to push this loose, but there's also an adhesive tape, double-sided adhesive tape in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a heat gun and heat up the back of this, and that should give me the uh, enough of a release to push that out. I can tell it's coming loose just a little bit more. Okay, so I got that piece off. A little bit of glue on here, and I should be able to put it right back on the other one. Okay, so I got the medallion off. I spent some time cleaning it. I've got the back side of this. You can see a little bit of roughness, but that's the uh, chrome, uh, the way they put it on. There's absolutely no residue left on this. So the glue, the double-sided tape that I'm going to use is 3M Auto tape. And I'm going to, essentially, I'm going to just put three layers of that, uh, one on top of, on the top part of the ring, one across the middle. I want a lower part, and then I'm going to cut it out so that it uh, just covers the back of it. All right, so I'm not going to video that as I do it. It's probably pretty tedious and boring. So that's what I'm going to do, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to put it back onto the uh, back of the truck. So here's the uh, tape, and you can see where I have the three seams there. And I just trimmed it out, and I just used the sharpest camping knife I have. It's a uh, Mora knife, stainless steel made in Sweden. When these come from the factory, they're so sharp, I mean, they will slice you wide open. I didn't have a scalpel or anything uh, of that nature, but I think this will work great. I'm going to peel off the back of it and put it in place. Here it is, the double-sided sticky tape has been... Uh, the backing has been taken off, and if you can see, there's a little bit of chrome showing all the way around. And what I did is when I was cutting the excess off, I was cutting it at an angle so that there would be uh, no, no tape sticking out past the emblem. So it should just be a matter of lining it up with the holes and pressing it on. And there we are, finished. If you hadn't seen this video, you wouldn't know this wasn't from the factory.